Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to the X Universe. I am the Heizmeister, and this is episode 5 of our space adventure and our eternal quest for profits. Right then, I'm here on board my um, Teladi. What's it called again? Gilimot. Yeah, that's it. Gilimot. Um, okay, my Gilimot Vanguard cruising through the X universe, and I have decided to move things forward a bit. I have started construction of a docking bay at my headquarters, which is currently being swamped by. Uh, it seems like patrols from the Ministry of Finance, a Teladi faction, the, um, the security force of the Teladi company. Uh, yeah, yeah, that is their their state, by the way. The, the Teladi are not a traditional state. Um, they are run like a company, and uh, <laughs> as you might imagine, the head of the state is of course the CEO. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Xenon. Jump gate, frontier edge. Oh, frontier edge. No, 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 no. Definitely not where I want to be. Okay, uh, yeah. Need to exit this area immediately. My ship was just cruising around, placing um, advanced satellites, when all of a sudden this happened. Well, I wanted to place an advanced satellite here. There are a few wrecks here. I've been targeted. Advanced satellite deployed. Time to leg it. Uh, where's the next jump gate? The alar alarm you just heard um, was me being notified that an enemy has targeted me. Wheat farm. Jump gate. No, contact. not weed. Weed. So, I think we will encounter weed soon enough. Yeah, basically I've decided to move things forward. I've acquired another mining vessel, a, a Bolo um, mineral miner who is currently mining for Nividium in a Teladi sector. Uh, this is close to a facility where I can sell this Nividium, a Teladi trade station. And this giant silhouette might be... Ah, there it is. Asgard. Terran Intervention Corps to the rescue. What are you doing? Launching in front of this jump gate, uh, jump gate second to second contact. contact. Get... Asgard. Get to the fight already. You are here to fight Xenon. Do your job. Anyway. Okay. Tonya, entering system. We have Second arrived contact. at a relatively safe sector now. We move this Hello. order. Hello. We move this order and stay there for a while. Right then. Ah, uh, yeah. I have decided to install a dockyard, uh, a, a docking bay here at the headquarters, um, so that my uh, ships can now access the headquarter directly, and I can access the headquarter as well. Uh, for our ongoing missions, we still need to uh, acquire two spacesuit bombs. For this, I need to uh, somehow acquire um, unstable crystals. Yeah, they are usually found near mining operations or within asteroids. Once those have been broken up, a lockbox. And now we can see here that. Frontier's Edge um, is a xenon sector, apparently, with the xenon. Uh, pouring out of the gateway and being totally smashed by this Claystronics factory. Right, now I've got eyes on one invasion vector of these Xenons. Okay, where is my little profitable miner? There it is, still mining the video. And um, yeah, it's time to move forward. 40 seconds until completion of my docking bay. I guess it's time to head back. Well, I'm sure Bozotar will have something to say once this mission has been completed. And I can finally access something that I wanted to access for quite some time now. 
a special feature of the player's headquarters. There we go. And I desperately need a new uh, player ship. This Terran Guillemot is nice and all, um, but uh, yeah, I need something faster and with a little bit more firepower so that I don't have to run away every time I encounter a small Xenon patrol. Yeah, thank you. And what have you been doing all the time? Black Hole Sun. Ominous name for a sector. I don't know if I've explained that before, but this is the place. Entering system. Black Hole Sun. Well, that sun doesn't look like a black hole. Uh. Superhighway. Black Hole Sun. Five. But yeah, this is a place where the Xenon decided to send a message to the community of planets. A quietly strong worded message. Um, they used their uh, used jump drive technology, well, a technology that is apparently now lost to us for whatever reason, and projected a singularity inside one of the stars in the sector of Black Hole Sun, uh, resulting in the explosion of said star in a supernova and um, yeah that is a a rather strong message indeed if the xenon have the technology and the means to do just that well there aren't that many safe places in the universe left oh the headquarter is now in sight and I now need to enter our new docking bay, which is, of course, of Terran design. Uh, I will try to emphasize using Terran design elements and station modules in almost all of my structures, by the way. There we go. <laughs> Quite a unique way docking of entering right. this docking bay. It is internal, rather than most of the docking bays you find within the rest of the X universe, which are external. Successfully docked. Yeah, that's what I thought. Get up. Come on. It's an honor to have you aboard. And this is my station manager welcoming me aboard, aboard my own station. And I've just gone up in rank with the Cigaris Pioneers, and I have achieved rank 10. Oh. It appears we're still locked out from direct access. Eh, uh, wasn't me. Seems I have no choice. I must leave my current location and join you on that station. Hey, that rhymed. Oh, did I forget to divulge that information? Eh, uh, yes. Yes, you did. I am currently a captive of some split fellows. Mm. If you aid me, then I will gladly offer my services to unlock the potential of that facility. Well, it's a deal. Fly to Heva's twin. Yeah, he is uh, being held captive by the split. Ah, uh, very, very unsavory fellows, those split. I will have something to say about the split in detail at a later point in time. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's just... <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I mean, you know, when you are aboard the station, you can't afford to have unchecked animals and critters running around. It's a uh, it's a hazard, after all, a safety hazard. Okay, uh, so where do we have to go? Heva's twin. Wait, what? I know this sector. It's on the other side of the universe, basically. Ugh. Well, there we are. Cigaris, home of the Cigaris Pioneers, and I'm about to dock at their trade station. Oh, what's it called? Uh, let me. Uh, oh, the, it's it's a space lab. Yeah, basically a trade station. Uh, once my pilot here has found the entry into their docking bay, I don't know what you are doing, but it doesn't look like you're docking. Come on. Hello. Let the CEO take over for a bit. Oh, the autopilot is activated. Yes. I mean, I could deactivate the autopilot now, but I'm not going to. Although I probably should. 
Okay. Okay. Docking granted. Yeah. Is that so hard? Apparently it is. Yeah. We're getting our promotion now, and I have already selected a ship. Um, as you recall, probably I wanted a ship that is. I represent yeah. the Cigaris Pioneers, Magistrate, and I have a business proposition for I'm you. I'm listening. If you're interested, come and find me. Okay. If you want to be found, I shall find you. Uh, that sounded threatening. Trade Guild Invitation. Ah, yeah, there it is. And once we've reached a certain rank uh, at our faction, we get invitations from their guilds. But first... Uh, trade Guild Office? No, 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 no. Yeah, that's where we want to be. Faction representative first. Yeah, I've selected a a new ship for me to fly. I don't know how long I will fly it. It's good to see you, friend. I know. Many among us have been watching your work with great interest and wanted to reward you for it. As such, I'm pleased to present you with a new rank as a token of our appreciation. Of course, we will yes. also reward you with benefits. These benefits are linked to your rank. So, they will be lost should you turn against us. Won't happen, I promise. But given how you have helped us out in the past, I do not see that being a real worry. I hope you find these yeah, yeah. rewards we know this part. the work you've done, and that you are able to make the most of them. Oh, and expect some of our organizations to reach out to you for help in the near future. Once again, we really appreciate what you have done for us so far. We look forward to working with you more in the future. There we go. License acquired. It's good to see you. Uh, I mean, promotion acquired. I'd like to buy a license. I can buy a police license. Yes, I will. Good Thank luck you. out there. I know. Um, now, let's get registered, registered with the Trade Guild. The Cigaris Pioneer Trade Guild, at least. There we are. Pilot, so good to see you. It's no secret the Cigaris Pioneers are struggling. Yep. Ever since our inception, we've struggled to carve out a niche for ourselves. Quite frankly, we need people like you to help sustain ourselves and compete with the other, much larger organizations. There would be a one-time investment, after which you will become a member of our trade guild and have access to a number of job listings. Lucrative missions. Uh, yeah, guilds offer quite lucrative missions with unique rewards, uh, be it a unique camo scheme for your ships or even a ship itself. Very good. Yeah. I'll let our coordinators know. You'll be able to see jobs on offer Yay. in the areas we operate in. Good. I'm sure you'll be a big help. I will, but not right now. I have places to be. Okay, now you can see here that... Um, hello. Uh, yeah, hello there. Cigaris Pioneer Trade Guild is now offering me a few missions. Um, these are usually uh, quests that contain various missions chained together and here I can see let's see what this entails for example improve satellite coverage teaching the ropes and there you see uh, the reward for each um, mission basically you get credit rewards here for each co completed mission and a basic ship nano weave once you have completed the overall uh, mission chain Let's see. And yeah, there, there's the reward. Uh, advanced seminar for four-star crew management. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. This is something I do want to have. This is very hard to come by. Um, if I could equip, uh, I mean, train a manager with this seminar, this is very good. I need the... Uh, I need this. I need this. Um, actually, I was about to uh, buy a new schnip, but let's look around for a bit. Um, the ship I want to buy, by the way, is a... where it is? Buy ships. Yeah, a Cigaris Pioneer ship. Uh, talent Technology, of course, once again. 
Um, I could buy the Carless Heavy Fighter uh, for when you absolutely want to make sure that your hole never gets damaged. Uh, four shields on a fighter. That is quite unique, to be honest. Uh, I don't think that any ship has that many shields. Except maybe... No, no, not that. I was thinking of something else. Yeah, Carless Heavy Fighter, but only two weapons. A little bit too weak for my purposes. But I have selected the Kukri. Um, interesting design. I'm normally not a fan of asymmetrical designs. It has only one shield slot. Yeah, but still, the firepower might be worth it. Um, I plan to fit two energy weapons in these um, twin-linked slots here and a missile launcher in the single slot, uh, giving me quite the uh, firepower and... Um, versatility when engaging a few targets, especially the versatility that come with the various missiles I can slot there. So yeah, uh, but uh, unfortunately I do not have the credits to buy a new ship, which means, um, my dear Bozota, you might have to uh, wait a little while longer and I um, hope your hosts don't uh, do anything to you. We need to do a Mission for the Cigars Pioneers. Uh, why did I accept that? Anyway, set up satellite network. We shall do this. Now, see here, I was just trying to open up this data vault when something caught my eye. I'm sure you can see it as well. There is a... Uh, a strange object there in the distance. Um, very irregular design and uh, shimmering with a few lights. Very strange indeed. Um, once I have opened this data vault, uh, we shall inspect this object a little bit closer. Um, yeah, I was just on my way to deploy a few satellites, you know, I had to resupply at a dock, and uh, this mission is still going on. This is probably the last mission of this uh, small quest. And, um, come on, let me just... There we go. Now, let's get to the juicy data within. Uh, hello, I want to access the juicy details. Oh, there you go. One more. But yeah, this, this strange object there. What could it possibly be out here in Antigone Memorial? Uh, Container. There we have. Mode detonator. I need this, this stuff for spacesuit bombs, but I still haven't acquired unstable crystals yet. I cannot progress with the uh, Hatikva mission until I have acquired these crystals. Scanning. And data encrypted. New entry added to timeline. Uh, decrypted, not encrypted. New entry has been added to the timeline. Oh, well, well, well. Yeah, strange object there floating in space. I shall investigate, but first let's check if I have collected everything from this data vault. I believe I have. There's nothing else here, is there? Nope. Absolutely not. Where's my ship? Willemot. There it is. So yeah, a little bit all about the ship I'm going to acquire, the Kukri. Um, I... Uh, will have to rely on only one shield. Um, the other options had significantly more shielding. Um, I think it was one of these, uh, what's it called, the Cardis, um, had a lot more shielding. <laughs> Four shields, oh my. And uh, wait a minute. it was next to the position of the sun, wasn't it? Ah, I lost it. Damn it. There, there it is. What is that? Let's investigate. Yeah, um, so I'm trying to be pick my fights, basically. Pick my fights carefully, know when to disengage with my only shield, 
but I'm going to in, uh, install a Terran Mark III shield in there. A good shield, I would say. And yeah, two special weapons that will you, you will only find on Terran equipment docks and that have a special weapon slot called High Energy. And um, those weapons are unique to Terrans and Terran ships only. And they are very powerful. Very, very powerful indeed. Hello? Please tell me your secrets, mysterious structure. Well, those who have seen my German X3, X4 playthrough will probably know what this structure is already. Cerberus, Hello. Sentinel. Yeah, Sentinel. You keep looking out for any trouble there, Sentinel. Okay, what are you? Seems to be quite big. Okay, getting closer. I think I can target it now. No, I can't. What is that? Oh, by the way, I have... Uh, not only have I resupplied some satellites, I've also upgraded... Oh, upgraded my Gilemot here with better shielding. Karg installation. Karg installation. Do I want to be close to that one? Um... I don't think so. Uh, that is a that is an outpost built by the Kark in this system. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit uh, to it. The Kark will harass any mining vessels that are present in the system and will continuously spawn once they're uh, or as long as there's an outpost like this present. Kark defense platform. Yeah, I don't want to get very close to this, or at least not any closer than that. Let's see if I have satellite coverage. I need to mark this for... Uh, Kark installation. Damn it, it's heavily defended. I have no means, absolutely no means of um, engaging this one. So, deploying a satellite, marking this location for later. And as you can see, these Kark installations or outposts are quite a bit away from the uh, center of a sector or from any other friendly stations at all. And my satellite is... Yeah, the coverage is alright. I didn't really want to get closer. <laughs> right then, now back to the task at hand, which is to um, place the last satellite and be rewarded handsomely. Now, here's something. For now, I'm going to buy the Kukri, the fighter here. Right? This will be my player ship for a little bit of time. However, there is something I really want to buy. The Katana. Oh, yes. Oh, this one is perfect. Mm -hmm. Not the best ship that you can acquire, but oh boy, is it fast. It is... Very, very fast. Four, 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 four forward-facing weapon slots, two turrets, and a top speed that is actually a far cry from the usual Terran philosophy of their rather oh, slow ships. No, I say slow, but uh, you know, the, as I've said before, the Terran travel drive is uh, unique in a way that. Um, while it is slower than travel drives from other uh, races, it is actually... It has the best ex acceleration, I believe. Yeah, I, I think so. And, um... Yeah, quite, quite unique. Asteroid. Asteroid. Empty space. Okay, we are nearing our... Last deployment location, and let's see. Um, all stop and deploy a satellite. There we go. Yeah, I know. Thank you. I have received the basic ship Nanoweave, uh, which is a a component I need for modifying certain aspects of a ship. Right then. How's our... Ooh, over one million. I think it is time to end this episode now. We will first acquire a new ship. Boy ships. Size S. Maybe just a, 
I mean, I, I do like my tankiness, uh, the, the tankiness of certain ships, but uh, the card is... It will be the Kukri. What did it hit? Tacoba? Well, it's a, you know you have a super tanky um, glass cannon. Well, not really glass cannon. And something in between. Uh, Kukri it is. Yes, give me a Kukri um, combat engines. Highest grade combat engines. Uh, well, really slow that thing. Yeah. yeah, I will try to get some Argon combat engines as soon as possible. Uh, but I want to have the highest level shielding. And here we go. <laughs> uh, tracking launcher. There is literally no reason to buy the um, tracking launcher Mark II or the Mark II variant of any launcher because the only thing you'll get is an extra space for two missiles. Wow, that's totally not worth it. Not even the reload rate or the damage of the missile increases. No. Damage of the missile is tied to the missile itself, not the launcher. So, a tracking launcher and two, uh, let's see, proton barrage. My sustained weapon output is much, much higher with the pulse laser. Uh, but... Actually, Proton Barrage, because it is a special Terran weapon and high energy weapon at that. Um, yeah, that can computer all the bells and whistles, please. And we are stretching our budget low. Here it is, the choice of missiles. Um, enemies have a nasty habit to um, basically deploy flares and chaff when they have been locked on by a missile, so missiles that retarget enemies might be beneficial here. Like, for example, the heavy swarm missile um, or intelligent missiles. Though intelligent missiles, uh, smart missiles I mean, are, uh, they are expensive to be fair. So just give me and look look how cheap these missiles are EMP missile yeah if I want to get rid of a few shields maybe five EMP missiles and guided missiles heat seeker missiles they are so cheap but you see here the, the heavy variants and the smart one well very expensive right and give me um, Give me a, I don't know, five small missiles and there we go. Flares. An intrepid crew. And that's it. Confirmed the order. Right, it's getting built and I will make my way to the dock right now. There we are. Now entering docking the docking, the docking bay of this um, Cigaris Pioneer Wharf, and ready. Greetings. Yes, hello there. Although it's the last time you will see us, uh, I'll see you. I mean, we'll see each other. Yeah, that's it. Um. I will now try to get to my new ship, the Terran uh, Kukri. Yeah, that's it. Kukri. There we go. And I would like to uh, make an announcement here. Um, I will name the player ships myself, but should I acquire any capital ship, uh, particularly one like uh, carriers, and destroyers or battleships, um, I will leave it up to you with uh, the naming of them. Um, you can make suggestions for names for those ships and I'll pick one and then name those ships. Um, but when it comes to destroyers, only destroyers that are leading a battle group or a patrol. Uh, yeah. Ukraine. 
since destroyers will be quite ubiquitous once we get to a medium to late game point. Hello there, Captain. Hello there. Yes, hello there. Um, yeah, I think it is time to undock and take our new ship for a spin. Requesting permission to dock. Denied. Docking permission granted. Ooh, there we go. Quite a different feeling from the other one. A nice clean cockpit though. I mean, look at this. Look at this view. This is very good in uh, in space combat. And, uh, well, it's asymmetrical, but hey. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, so there's our missile launcher. I haven't loaded any missiles just yet. Let's change that. This is a EMP missile, I think. Swarm missile heavy, swarm missile light. Let's load a light swarm missile. There we go, launch is loaded. And we are ready. Ready to take on new challenges in the X universe. And I think our next challenge will be to free Bozota from his captors. Um, but first, I'm afraid we have to end this episode here. Um, yeah, until we free Bozota, I will do some more trade runs, do some more quests for the Cigaris uh, trade guild and uh, acquire more money and miners so basically that I get a little bit of a passive income going. So then, with your newest acquisition, I would like to say goodbye from the X-Universe here and I hope I'll see you next time when we will um, help our benefactor out a bit. You know, nobody likes to be held captive by Split, after all. I am the Heizmeister, and I hope I see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.